Zach Wilson is not the problem with the Jets. Bam, I said it. Get your get your hooting and your hollering out. He's not the problem with the Jets. He is not the reason that the Jets lost to the Pats. Not solely. He is a reason, but he's not the sole reason. Now, over the course of this season, Zach Wilson has proven a very, very simple concept. Winning is bigger than stats. If you don't, if you don't win, but you throw four touchdowns a game... You're, you're not a winning quarterback. It's plain and simple. Now, is there other factors that are probably contributing to that stat? Probably. However, if you can put up, you know, just basic passing and maybe you throw a touchdown or whatever, and you're winning games, just keep fucking doing it. Just stay the course. Keep winning football games. And so here we are in going in. Mike White has a great game against a layup of a team with the Bears. Bears aren't doing good. Lays them up. He is going to be playing the Vikings this Sunday. He's going to be playing the Bills next Sunday. Last year against the Bills, he threw four picks and was benched. Now he's got to play the Vikings, who are stronger than ever, and they've playing an arguably better Bills team than they were last year. Who's going to have their star cornerback? So, what do you do? Well, so, you know, what's, what's, what do you do? What's going to happen? Mike White's going to lose. And here we are, we're going to sit back and we're going to look at, well, shit, Zach Wilson... Yeah, his passing percentage isn't that great. Yeah, you know, he's, he's only thrown four touchdowns. He's thrown four touchdowns, five picks this year, you know, in seven games. It's, it's not impressive. But he wins games. He's winning, he's winning his games. How, how interesting, how interesting. Oh what, we got a running we got a rushing attack that's one of the worst in the league since Brees Hall got injured. I can't see that. No no not possible. What the Zach Wilson had forty four percent of the rushing in this infamous Pats game that everybody is grilling him over? I didn't see that. I didn't see the fact that our two star running backs averaged less than two yards a carry. How was I supposed to know that? How was I supposed to see the fact that Zach Wilson has been sacked 16 times in 7 games? How he was sacked 4 times versus the Patriots? How increasingly we are seeing Zach Wilson, quote unquote, is afraid of the he's afraid to take these shots in 20 mile an hour winds. Look, look at this play. Look at how he how he just misses Garrett Wilson on this play while he's got somebody pressuring him and he again is throwing in 20 mile an hour winds. Neither team threw the that distance and that ball could have very easily been caught by the wind and picked off. Who knows? He doesn't he doesn't do he doesn't make the throw. He just goes and he rushes for 8 yards. Calls it or makes a safe play, which is what Zach Wilson does. He plays boring football and he wins games. And so, what about the times when he has to play exciting football? He is the worst quarterback in the league when he's pressured, he's got a QBR of 7.1. He's been sacked on seven, um, almost eight percent of his dropbacks, and he's just bad. You put him in a clean pocket, suddenly is a different quarterback, top ten in every single stat besides big time throw rate by PFF. Top five in most of these stats, and number one in yards per attempt. But nobody talks about it 
because they see these plays of Zach Wilson getting pressured and having increased distrust of his O-line because his O-line is complete dog shit. You, you can't make it up. You cannot make up some of these stats that are just surrounding Zach Wilson. And then everybody gets fooled by Mike White who has one good game and is about to get his shit stomped. And if I'm wrong, well, I'm stupid and I made a bad and I have a bad take. But as I proved with the Jimmy Garoppolo video, I don't make bad takes when it comes to winning quarterbacks. If you win, you win games. And so either one of two things is going to happen when Mike White goes out and he loses is either A, people are going to make the excuse that, oh, he's playing the Vikings. The Vikings are a good team. Oh, he's playing the Bills. The Bills are a good team. Once he gets to the Bills, it's going to be like, well, Zach Wilson beat the Bills. Why couldn't, why couldn't Mike White beat the Bills? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And that's all. That's all. It's a little, it's a little food for thought. That just maybe, 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 maybe a team that has no rushing attack without Brees Hall, a team that lets their quarterback get swarmed like he does, like he has. You can go watch the tape. He gets swarmed on half, at least half of the 22 dropbacks that he made that he took. Or I guess it'd be 26, because he's got sacked on four of those. Oh, it's in the game as well. Like, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing that Zach Wilson can do. And so, yeah, he goes out and he says, no, it's not my fault. It's not his fault. His offensive line failed him, and his running game failed him. There's nothing that he can do there. What do you want me to do? Get real.